Hey there, YouTube. Jeff Olahane, your reviewer of New Hampshire and New England Brews, back for another one. Today it's Smutty Nose Old Brown Dog Ale. Brown Dog Ale with that good old brown dog right on the label. Uh, this uh, brew is fairly available around the country uh, as Smutty Nose gets out and about more and more. This particular bottle is uh, marked at uh, an expiration date of May of 2010. So. Uh, this is being sampled in January, so there's still about five, six months left before it gets to its expiration date. Though I'm not necessarily a believer in uh, an expiration date being the dead-on date that everything goes dead. I think you have a little leeway to some degree, but uh, this one is the Old Brown Dog Ale. One of uh, Spunny Nose's signature brews. I'm going to open it here with my Rheingold opener. Nice old one, isn't it? Rheingold. Now there's a beer and a name from the past. Let me just open this beer and see how she does. Well, it starts off a little bit with a bit of smoke, a little mist. If you look really close, you might see it, but basically, uh, you really have to look, uh, you might see it there. I'm putting it at just enough angle, you might see a little bit of it coming out through here. So that's, that's not bad. Uh, slight bit of aroma coming right out of the neck of the bottle. Let's give it a pour into the smelly nose glass appropriate. I like to use it for all my smuggy nose brews. Fairly aggressive pour on this. Alrighty then. Look at that. This is uh, a fairly nice color. Um, brown, which makes sense for brown dog ale. And maybe when held to the light, a little mahogany. A mahogany brown and some little ruby hues in there as well. I also kind of like this head. Uh, it's got maybe a finger or so I've had it's it's frothy and, and, and foamy and creamy um, and it does generate a little bit of lacing which is kind of nice. This uh, head does seem to be diminishing a little by little so I'm not sure how long it'll actually stay in play but let's give it a, a sniff. Now what I'm getting in that sniff and that's only a short one you really sometimes have to do this for a good moment or two and a couple of whips to really get a, a good feel for it. Now, what I'm getting there is it's a, it's a real fresh and crisp aroma. Uh, it, it, it smells fresh. It smells new. And I'd say it's got a bit of uh, hoppiness in it. Uh, more on the malty and sweet caramel side. I'd say it tends to be more of the malty and sweet caramel with the hops more in the background than anything else. So, uh, so that seems like uh, the kind of aroma you should get. Maybe a, a hint of nuttiness in there uh, as well in the background. And this, uh, as you can see, this is really diminishing now. The head is. Let's give it a sip. Took a pretty good swig on that one. Mainly because it's very drinkable, very easy to drink. So it's easy to drink this one with a big gulp as opposed to small little sips. And I have a nice caramel bitter flavor uh, coming up in there. It, it's very, very nice. It's very smooth. Uh, medium level of mouthfeel. And there's a dryness at the end. You, you can notice it. As you take the sip, you, you feel the bitterness and the sweetness. And your first sip, as it's going down your throat, you just can enjoy that. But then, after a moment, you, that old uh, hoppiness, a dry hoppiness kicks in. A dry hoppiness. That's really a good way to describe it. It's sort of a, a dry hoppiness. And I kind of like that.